welcome back to my channel and i hope you guys are having a great week um oh my gosh i'm really excited because we are gonna see the aftermath of this accident that arthur had and everything that happened in the last clip of um episode eight like i'm so excited so i'm just gonna dive into this because i'm truly excited and I'm very nervous because I don't know what's going to happen. Um, I feel like this is going to be a lot of truth coming out because I feel like at one point he's either going to tell Alexa or she's going to find out about him getting annoyed and all this stuff. So it's like I don't know what's going to happen but I'm also like really excited. So we're going to get into this. This is Scam Friends Season 5 Episode 9. We got hit by a car, so I don't know what the extent of his injuries were, and there's your douche of a father. Awesome. <laughs> I fucking hate that man. <clears throat> oh my god. Oh wow, that's a miracle. I don't know what the extent of his injury was, but it looks like he was gonna get like hit right in the um, like his lungs and stuff, like his torso and stuff. to show remorse for someone like him because of how he is I don't know, again, I can't show remorse to someone like him, especially if, like, what he did. Yes. Sorry, guys, I'm getting messages. <laughs> Good for him though for telling. Like good for him for telling. Oh, Alexa. I don't want him to lie either. Um, I had a conversation with someone in the comments about her and his relationship with her and his relationship with Noi. Aww. Mm. 
There you go. <clears throat> but like how his like relationship is with the both of them. <laughs> oh my god. Oh that's oh my god. That was the cutest thing in the world. You're an idiot. Oh, oh, oh Baz. You're suffocating me. You're doing it again. Oh. You'll never do this again, alright? Oh. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? Aw, Theodore. <laughs> I bet it's weed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. What is Lucas doing with the hat? <laughs> <clears throat> oh no. At least he's honest with them. But yeah, I was having a conversation with someone in the comments about the two relationships and how Noi didn't really like pressure him into telling his side of the story of a lot of things and with Alexa it was a lot more pressured and Alexa and him are very much a high school relationship and him and Noi are kind of like different and I get that. Aww. At least he's telling them about what's going on. I like how he's being a little bit more honest, at least with his friends about stuff. <laughs> Oh my gosh. crazy how affairs work like you don't know things are happening until like they get caught it's crazy Oh 
info. <laughs> I wonder if this episode he's gonna confront his dad about everything because that would be amazing. I love how people say kisses, that's so cute. Aww. That's really sweet. Emma's like one of these characters, like the Eva character from Original Scam. Like her whole character stuff is so relatable of how high school girls really go. Oh, the dinner, okay. Like it's so relatable about like how you live and how you have to balance school and life and stuff and I, I love it so much. My bad girl, my bad girl. I need to embarrass you. I just know you're proud of Oh, see, that's okay. I'm pausing. That's what you need in a relationship. Like, I do like the way Arthur kind of took that as, like, I'm proud to tell it and stuff. I understand where she's coming from, where she's like, you don't need to tell everyone. Like, this is mine. Totally understand that. But I absolutely, like, love that. And I think if you're in a relationship with someone, let's say you're a girl who's by your pant or however you identify that way, and you're dating a man, like, he needs to respect that, otherwise you need to get the heck out of the relationship because it's not worth it. And I've been there and I've done that and it's not fun. And you kind of sit there and you're just like, no, I don't want this anymore because this person's being a poophead. <laughs> like, he's being so mean, he's being an asshole about this and stuff. So I love how proud he was. I love how proud he was. Oh, he's probably getting a text or something from Emma's. Oh my god! Oh, that guy was shitty. What? What? What is going on? He's just blowing the hell up. Oh my god. It's just like he got that initial thing that he was texting Emma's mom and just blew up. <laughs> Poor Alexa though, she's kind of like stuck in this and she's like, what's going on? <laughs> oh no, oh no! Oh my god, his dad is just as the same. Oh, he's gonna blow up. He's going to blow up. He's gonna snap. Oh my god. He took it off. Oh my god, he's gonna talk about <gasps> oh 
Yes. I'm sorry, but Papa, Papa, Arthur, Papa, run. You gotta run now. You have to run. <laughs> you have to run right now. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> He needs to tell her because right now. Yep. It's not good though, Arthur. I feel bad though because he doesn't have like his dad like oh his dad's such an asshole for deleting all that because that's the thing is that oh where is he where is he where is he where is he like oh my oh my God. is like this character I want to just squeeze. He's such a sweetie. Oh. Oh my god. I feel so bad because like Arthur's just in this place where he doesn't know who to trust. Oh that got me a little emotional guys. I'm always crying in these videos. I, I hate the thing of choosing sides like what he did was not right but also you can't choose sides in this kind of shit too that's I'm gonna pause again sorry guys that's the thing is that what Arthur did was terrible you should never be in a relationship I understand that a hundred percent I do appreciate him being like no like this is between me and her we have to talk about this ourselves and you guys do what you want to do that take that's that is the right thing to do this is between you and this other person so but of course, I understand where the girls are coming from. The girls are gonna stick together for their friend, and you know I've been there, done that for my friends. And you know, it's it's something that you you band together with and stuff like that. And the thing is, is that you're in a friend group with a girl who is also in your friend group, and when shit like that happens, the friend group's gonna go a little a little wonky. And that's the thing that was what someone mentioned in the comments is that. They thought that um, they kind of like were together and it just worked because they were in the same friend group and all this stuff. And 
I honestly can't 100% remember how Arthur and Alexa got together. Like, I'm kind of blanking on that kind of stuff. When you watch so many of these remakes, you forget, like, what happened in each remake because everything is just slightly different. But I'm so tired, so I'm sorry for my energy being, like, a little bit low. Um, I have my coffee, don't worry. <laughs> I do feel bad for him though, like it's it's probably just, it's hard to be able to like really understand what you're, what's going on and he's still a teenager and he still doesn't know his future and things like that and who's, oh, oh, he's um, the doctor for his eight, hearing aids. Aww. Is that his wife or girlfriend? Aw, that's very sweet. Oh yeah, he knows his dad. Aww. Are you Aquarius? So cute and motherly. Oh my god. I think that's good for him to hear, to know that someone is able to get out of this. Oh, the doctor's gonna let him, oh, the doctor was gonna let him stay with him, that's so sweet. Oh, oh, I'm really glad his friends are there for him. Oh, okay, so this is uh, Alexa's open mic night. I remember someone talking about like all of them like singing together. I thought that was really cute. Um, oh, Daffy. Oh, Emma! I fucking love Emma. Oh, Emma's just like, I don't really care what's going on. <laughs> oh, they're so cute together. I just can't. Oh my god, then there's no way. <laughs> oh, there's, oh, oh, there, there's, there's no way. <laughs> oh my god, there's no way. <laughs> Oh my god. Do you know what's really funny? Is that I suspect that this song is going to be about Arthur and how he's a dickhead. <laughs> oh, yep, it's going to be that. It's going to be that. <laughs> she's going to, she's going to pop off. <laughs> she's going to pop off. Oh, she. <laughs> oh, she's gonna pop off. I know it, guys. <laughs> I 
I love her guitar strap. Yes. Yep. <laughs> Oh, she's got a beautiful voice. Oh, you little cutie. Oh, I don't... Like, separately, they're good people. Like, that's the thing. He's going through a lot, and she's a good person. But... Like, it's just... I think she kind of got stuck in the middle of a lot of stuff that was happening. And... Oh, oh, this isn't like a bad song. It was a love song for him. Oh, no, oh, this is awkward. Oh, this is even worse. Because she signed and oh my God. Oh, oh no. Oh no, he, she's popping off. She's popping off. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Like, it was really beautiful, but holy shit. Oh, well, it was like really good, Alexa, but I'm also very confused. <laughs> like, very just like, oh. Oh, oh, she's gonna call him out in the middle, people. Oh no. Also true. Oh, she's gonna dump him. She's gonna dump him in front of all these people. <laughs> yep. Just let her go. Let her go. Because that's the thing is that like th th this needs to happen because of what is all going on. That's the end. Holy. Okay. Um. Okay, well, I like this episode. Like, it was very to the point. A lot of things got out, out that needed to be. We found out that Arthur's dad is a, not just a asshole, he is a huge dick. Like, seriously. The way that his father just was like, oh, by the way, um, Noi, who brought you to the hospital, like, Oh, you're just gonna pull a high school little boy move, aren't you? Because your son called you out on your fucking cheating. Ugh. Like, it's heartbreaking, of course, for him and Alexa to 
breakaway and stuff like that was like i did really like them together like i really do i understand where a lot of people coming from in the comments how it's very much a high school relationship things aren't really going to last with it obviously him and noi have a better connection or like i was saying before someone in the comments mentioned that alexa kind of pressured him into talking about how he was feeling and noi didn't do that but he openly told her what was going on and sometimes yeah we need to push and sometimes we don't so i understand where everyone's coming in the comments about these two relationships i don't know how i feel yet um i, I think at the end of the day arthur needs to take care of himself he needs to take care of his mental health his hearing his life and you know if he doesn't want to do medicine um focus on try to find something else or you know focus on trying to get a job and find your own place because obviously he needs to get out of that house i feel bad for his mom because i don't i think his mom is probably stuck in this little thing of like what do i believe and you don't really like see her react like you kind of see her reaction of how she feels about when he talks about the dad cheating and she kind of looks just like it wasn't so much shock it was just so much of just like like this her she was just like confused i think more than anything because arthur didn't have proof even though there was proof he needed to screenshot that <laughs> he needed to do something about that but that's the thing is that it's it's just his mom looks so like lost in everything and even at the beginning it was like you could tell his dad was so mean to her so i'm wondering if it was also relief to hear that he was cheating because maybe she could get out of this and maybe at the end of this whole thing we can see arthur and his mom living in their own place and just kind of living their lives i think that would be great too for the both of them because they're both in this kind of predicament um i know there's a episode 10 so this isn't ending as quick as i thought it was i thought for some reason this was the last episode but um on the site that i watch all of these she puts everything up in clip form and i see that there already is season or not season episode 10 happening so in regards thank you guys so much like last week for just all your comments about the episode how you feel what you think i should watch next and i love that so i will say ahead of time if you guys are talking about remakes for me to watch i have watched all of of course france italy spain um belgium and germany the only one that really haven't watched is the netherlands one and the spanish one um i'm leaning towards actually watching the spanish one next a lot of people say it's really good i also know like bits and pieces about it um of course when you are really into the evan and isaac kind of relationship you know who the counter people are so i know it's a lesbian couple or two girls i should say i don't know what they identify in the show um i think one's like bi and the other one's pan so i'm not completely sure but um so yeah like i'm kind of excited because i want to start that kind of before um scam germany and scam france start their next seasons um kind of as a breaker and things like that um i know someone mentioned um andy mack which is a disney show that has gay characters in it or a gay character in it but um i did look into that one and the last thing i want is to get copyright strikes from disney about that so i might not watch that also i haven't been able to find it all in one place um i do have disney plus but they have bits and pieces of the show and so it might be something i watch on my own or something like that just because it's going to be a little hard to kind of do um a video with something that might get like really badly copyright strike and i don't want things to get taken down i don't really care about money and stuff like that but i just don't want things to get taken down and losing a video that you love to watch i totally get that so we're gonna get into the scam of the week and this girl i've been following for a huge time i really want to give her a shout out and just really tell people to like go see her stuff because she is phenomenal i know a lot of people in the scam fandom know about her and i think she is great but i still want to give her a shout out because she still is someone i really really like to watch and everything and this is kk <laughs> um, this is her picture i'm so sorry if that's not how you pronounce it she is actually from japan and um 
if you don't know who she is she makes these really 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 amazing drawings of like Evan and Isaac and all the other characters of the scam universe and she makes merch as well she has an Etsy shop like if you just go to her Instagram everything's gonna be pretty much there she makes like really really cute stuff I'm gonna show you my keys because my keys are like full-blown like Evan and Isaac out so yeah you got your little Evan and Isaac and my little Isaac with the kittens um but yeah she does some really really cute things I also have a little <laughs> a little uh rainbow there too she makes really really cute things and um if you like anything from the fandom like she just makes really cute stuff and i think you guys should check her out um of course this was the cutest picture i've seen she did like this was like a quick drawing that she did too of um robbie and sander and i was like ooh, so cute but anyways thank you guys so much for watching i'm so sorry if i seem so weird in this video i'm kind of a bit monotone today and i don't know why um but again i hope you guys enjoy as well if you have any more suggestions of things i should watch after scam friends i will love to hear those options still like i said i've seen majority of the um remakes but of course if you have any suggestions put it down below that'd be great um comment like and subscribe and everything like that i hope you guys have a great day all my social media is down below if you would like to follow i have a scam instagram and i have my personal instagram which i hope you guys like <laughs> if you guys want to follow me there um and yeah i think this is the end of this all i hope you guys have a great day remember it's never too late to get your shit together <laughs> sorry i'm weird guys <laughs> bye